Once you can educate your client and get them thinking, reverse engineering how they got there, but that takes confidence and that takes taking a deep breath and just saying, okay, let's talk about why. Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's the mayor, Heath Sharon here, and we are talking about how to lead your team through rate increases through rate changes for that matter. You can sub in hard market, soft market, whatever the market that we're into, but it still poses a challenge when you're doing renewals and retention calls and all of those things. So let's talk about that a little bit. Let's dive into this conversation a little bit deeper. You open this blog because you want to know and you wanted to understand how to lead your team through rate increase. So what I want you to do is take a minute here and coach your team through a very simple process. You know, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about reverse engineering the rate increase or the rate decrease or the rate challenge, whatever that might be. But for the sake of this blog, let's talk about the rate increase. So what we ought to do is answer one simple question with your client on the phone. Why are you having a rate increase? And let's just reverse engineer from there. Let's start with the question of why, and let's go backwards from there. You know, let's work through with a little simple process of review and education. This way we can uh, really look at it. So let's take an example. Uh, maybe that'll make it simpler for you. If your client looks at renewal and sees the increase, start asking a few questions. And let's say we find out that uh, he had a claim that was filed through the policy term. Uh, that would be pretty simple to explain, Mr. Uh, client. You had this claim that resulted in this. That is why you had a rate increase. And let's take it a little bit further. What if that was a car accident? And not only do you have damage, physical damage to the vehicle, but he also got uh, a ticket. All right? It was at fault claim. And now he's got the damage to the vehicle and he has a ticket that goes on his record. Then it becomes a pretty simple explanation, right? What else could be a reason uh, that the rate went up? You know, if you start thinking about it, start asking the questions. You can get the, the client thinking about cause and effect, so to speak, reverse engineering to figure out how you got there. So, you know, let's make a list, you know, uh, client activity, uh, updates or aging a property. Maybe their roof was eight years old when you first wrote it. Now it's 12 years old. Maybe it kicks it up a notch in the, the rating platforms. Maybe, uh, like I said, they didn't have a ticket or accidents before and now they do. Maybe there's some endorsements. Maybe they added a vehicle. Maybe they did this. Maybe they had a different vehicle. Maybe they took off some things. Weather. Uh, maybe there was a storm that came through. Something to that effect. Uh, carrier uh, increases. Maybe just a carrier in general took an increase. So we could talk about that, educate your client on that. Maybe, uh, you know, there was a business growth. If it's a, a you know commercial client, maybe they went from you know x amount uh, to a little higher amount in receipts or in payroll maybe there was a recent claim maybe there was a lot of different things once you can educate your client and get them thinking reverse engineering how they got there but that takes confidence and that takes taking a deep breath and just saying okay let's talk about why cuz they're going to call you upset let's talk about why this went up and let's work through this a little bit because immediately, so many agencies go into reshop mode. What I want you to do is get them thinking about why the rate went up, and let's get them thinking logically on this before we go into reshop mode. Hope this makes sense, and I hope you keep reading this blog, and I'll see you on the next one.